You know, I was raised here and in Rizalem, even though I live in Puerto Rico for the last nine years, so I'm in my hood, which is now your hood. But you know, you have to learn of what everyone said. Change doesn't happen like a miracle. Right here with me is two of my comrades that served 20 years of what I define as a revolutionary sabbatical. Because that is what we do when we have to serve our nation and be in a prison. Luis Rosa, Adolfo Matos, they're right here with me. You were, you were all, they're other, they're other former political prisoners. And we decided to define ourselves as the class of 99 because we were all released within that period of time. But there's no miracle. It's not that the Puerto Rican nation has like this magic spell. The reason that I am in freedom and my comrades are in freedom is because our people got together wherever Puerto Ricans are and then we were, my niece was a, a model and in Japan, the driver looked at her and said, are you Puerto Rican? She said, yes. And she says, oh, they think they're Puerto Ricans in Japan. But it's not just Puerto Ricans, it's everybody that has a consciousness that really believes in change and change comes it's beautiful now. Every candidate for the presidency. Isn't it interesting that Mr. McCain's campaign has pictures of him as a POW? And America forgets that we have real POWs in U.S. prisons. And we cannot forget that. And let us not forget who our heroes and heroines are. Sometimes you guys get lost. You know, I've been in freedom nine years and it's cool. You all want to hear hip hop, that's cool. I like hip hop, I like salsa. But let's make our music part of our growing process of conscious raising. You, I see a lot of young people here. Let's make it really happen. Let us jam in freedom. Let us jam in struggle. Let us jam in liberating our prisoners of war that have been for too long within the United States prisons. I honor my comrade, Carlos Alberto Torres. He's done 28 years, but he's with us right now. Oscar Lopez Rivera, 27 years, but he's with us right now. Aider Bertrand, 27 years. She's here now. Avelina Gonzalez was just arrested. Former Machetero, but you know what? He was in Kansas City 23 years and U.S. imperialists couldn't get them until they had a fucking snitch. And do not forget, they're alive and well. Puerto, I live in Puerto Rico. My nation has now been invaded by the FBI. They killed Feliberto, they assassinated Feliberto by thinking they would assassinate and kill our movement where they were contrary wrong. The Puerto Rican movement continues to struggle forward we need more people in our struggle of national liberation no matter wherever we are. Because until our nations are free, until our political prisoners are home, we are not a people of freedom. So please, find the time, commit yourself to struggle. Make struggle an everyday entity of your life. Don't bullshit. Just don't come to a rally. We don't need you to come to rallies. To be honest, if everyone here is not committed to struggle, then I'm gonna ask you to go home. Because we do not, that these are bad times. U.S. imperialism is ready to kick our butts. And we cannot allow it, we cannot applaud them, we gotta fight back. And the only way to fight back is to do the old work. As Sister Ferguson says, we gotta organize. And it's not by sending each other emails. It's not by texting each other. It's about creating art pieces music, sitting on a corner, getting signatures and talking to people about the reality of what's happening in this world. Do not get deceived. I don't think anybody here is deceived that if Mr. Obama becomes president, the black nation will be liberated. Come on, please. Let's be real. I think we have to make Mumia our Obama, you know? Yes. We have to make Carlos Alberto Oscar our Obama because those are the leaders of our nation. And that's what we have to do. We have to create Latin America is showing us. You know, it's not incredible, it's incredible that they talk about the enemy. I was just in Venezuela last November. It was such an honor.
to be able to be with the Venezuelan nation. I was able to go to Cuba. I could not see a Sada, but a Sada night jam two hours on the phone. I saw my Honda that I hadn't seen since I was eight months pregnant. And I went and visited Ches to honor our incredible warrior. And to be able to be in a nation of freedom is an incredible experience. We have to make our streets, wherever our people of color live, streets of freedom. Que viva Puerto Rico Libre. May all political prisoners be liberated. I love you and thank you, but let's carry it on. Thank you.